across the world amid a global food crisis. The World Food Program warning the war in Ukraine is exacerbating the crisis that's also being fueled by supply chain shortages from COVID, rising costs, and climate change. On top of that, the UN warns the world supply of soil is dwindling, posing another threat to the global supply of food and medicine. Here now to discuss this is Joe Handelsman. She is the director of the Wisconsin Institute for Discovery. And we also have with us today legal and cultural analyst Tracy Pearson. Good morning to both of you. Thanks so much for being here. Um, Joe, I want to start with you. Nearly 30 percent of global wheat exports come from Russia and Ukraine, or they did, I, I should say, before the war. Ukraine was known as the breadbasket of the Middle East. Are we starting to see any major ripple effects in the food? see. Shalom. First off, I want to start off by saying all praises. Honor and glory is due unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rakhadash. That's all praises to the world called God. His true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh by Hashem, and in the name, and Yahweh Shai being the name of the only begotten Son. I also want to say double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and mercy to the whole for like preaching this word in truth and sincerity. On the brother Tazaba in the Great Millstone, Arizona uh -huh. camp, Lord Will, with another video to edify. Right? And uh, I wanted to go on this. It was about three weeks ago, an article came out saying that the world only had about 10 weeks of uh of wheat or 10 weeks of grain before they were out right because what prophecy is starting to come to pass man the famine is going to be here and it's going to touch a lot of flesh right i want to get this let me get this tobit the fourth chapter because there's a reason why this famine is coming. This is, um, Luke told before in 13, it says, Now, for, therefore, my son, love, love thy brethren, despise not in thy heart thy brethren, the sons and daughters of thy people, and not taking a wife of them. It says, For in pride is destruction. And much trouble. We're wearing Pride Month, right? And in lewdness, when you go to that word lewdness, let's, let's peep that, man. Let's go here. Lewdness, lewd, non clerical, unlearned. It says, uh, belonging to the people, unlettered, uneducated, coarse, vile, lustful, right? And it makes it a little more simple when you go into the dictionary, right? You go to the word lewdness, right? It says right here, what is the meaning of lewdness? Involving or being sexual, sexual or being sexual conduct that is considered indecent or offensive, licentious, right? Convicted, uh, convicted of lewd and uh, lascivious assault upon a child, right? And we're in that time where lewdness, that inordinate lust is at an all time high. All right, we're in that time. All right, so what the Lord said, what in lewdness is decaying great one, for lewdness is the mother of famine, and that's where we're at, man. Famine, famine is getting here, man. Famine is close. All right, the Lord said, what he was going to send upon us. Set upon the, the two thirds of these things were created for the wicked. Let's get that created. This is a Sirach in a in Apocrypha Ecclesiasticus four and I'll start at eight. It says such things happen unto all flesh, both man and beast. And that is sevenfold upon upon sinners, death and bloodshed, strife 
and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge, right? Famine, tribulation, and the scourge. These things are created for the wicked, right? So the famine, bloodshed, strife, sword, calamities, tribulation, the scourge, all this means of death. The Lord said these things are created for the wicked and for their sakes came the flood. So this famine is being prepared for what? You evil ass people, man. Evil ass people, including you Jakes. Right? We not like the so-called nigga woman that gets in these forums and acts like they boost up themselves and they're be up above being judged. No, everybody's going to get addressed. There's shit that niggas are doing that need to be addressed and be judged. And there's shit that women are doing that need to be judged and addressed. And the Lord's coming in to address everybody. And a lot of people are going to die by famine, man. The Lord says, what? Uh, let me get this one. Um... In Ecclesiastes. Man, where is it at? It's um better perish. It's just forgetting how it's worded. There you go, lamentation. It says this is um I'm sorry, eight it says their their visage is back blackened in the cold talking about Israel. It says they are not known in the streets, so their skin cleave it to, to their bones. I'm talking about famine. It is withered, it is become like like a stick. All right, when your stomach starts hitting your back. This is what's getting prepared. People are going to die in these type of ways. The Lord prepared these things, man. Remember that 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 that, that horseman is coming, bringing death. Right? It says, They that be slain with the sword are better than they that, that be slain with hunger. For these pine away, stricken through for want of the fruits of the field. Right? Right, for once a fruits of the field to die for some for to die simply because you want a salad. That's how bad it's gonna be. This is verse uh verse um ten. It says the hands of the pitiful women have sought in their children, have sought in their own children, meaning what boiled. That word sodden means boiled, cooked. It says they were their meat. In the destruction of the daughter of my people. So cannibalism is coming back. The Lord said what? That which was is that which shall be. So the things that happened in the past. That, that history is going to repeat itself. This is the dire consequence of famine. Get this one. Evil. Uh, Ezekiel 5 and 16 it says it says uh, when I shall send upon them the evil arrows of famine right and what is an arrow it's something that's shot out you can't call it back once it starts it's got to go to where it's going just like the plagues that the Lord said would be shot of a mighty archer a mighty expert man and shall not return void right these plagues are being shot famine is getting is going to be here Famine's here. It's just that you're just eating through your last few stores. It says, which shall be for the destruction in which I will send to destroy you. 
and I will increase the famine upon you and I will break your staff of bread. All right. The Lord is breaking it. You, you're going this this stuff saying it right now. They, they even go into the topsoil. How that's that that stuff's doing on it, which goes into the scriptures because the scriptures tell you the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. We know the wicked would be the Esau. And the scriptures tell, told Esau, man, it's, the earth shall no shall not yield its strength unto Esau. So this is why the crops are failing. This is why they got to come up with GMOs. Right. And if the if the plants don't break down, how the hell are those nutrients going to go back into the topsoil? So this devil's just all out destroying the planet, man, destroying the earth. It says, so will I send upon you famine and evil beast and they shall bereave thee and pestilence and blood shall pass through thee. And I will bring the sword upon thee. I have spoken it. Right. So the message is going out. And I keep bringing this one out because the Lord. The Lord just keeps feeding it, but uh, let me get this. Uh, it's in the book of uh, Isaiah. In twelve, it says. And in that day, the Yahweh of hosts called to mourning, called to weeping and to mourning and to baldness and to girding with sackcloth. Because the Lord told you, you know, these things are coming. The days of heaviness are coming. You were supposed to get right. You're supposed to look at yourself and be like, you know what? I've, I've messed up. I've, I've shamed the Lord by, by, by my actions. But a lot of people don't do that. It says verse 13. It says, uh, and behold, joy and gladness slain in ox, slain oxen killing sheep eating flesh and drinking wine and this is what jake's still doing COVID came and went for them they don't care they don't care about it no more it says let us eat and drink for tomorrow we shall die it says and it was revealed in my ears by yahweh of hosts surely this iniquity shall not be purged from you till you die say yahweh right so what the lord is preparing famine this is why this stuff is ha happening man and it's going to get real. Shallow on.